All right, before we start the video, the Hyksos is a people of mixed Semitic and Asian descent who invaded Egypt and intermixed and bred with the people. This is why the population looked the way it looks now. So we're talking about Greeks, Arabs, Turks, Persians, you know what I'm saying? All different types of stuff. Now, this is the hieroglyphic of Pharaoh Atmos the first defending commit His in son, uh, Atmos, who opened up the 18th dynasty. This is a real person, brothers and sisters, who said never again. He was the liberator, the emancipator, who kicked these Hyksos out of our land. This is the real historical account that we've got to start teaching our people, brothers and sisters. So, they took from this African right here, his name Atmos and made him Moses. This is the only account that we expelled a large group of people out of our land, this African right here, who opened up the 18th dynasty known as the Golden Age. And so I just want you to understand that the Egyptians we now see are conquerors just like people who came here and took this land from the Indians, so that they are not indigenous to Africa, those who now rule Egypt. And Egypt is just as much a part of Africa as Birmingham or Alabama is part of the so-called United States. Let me, I mean, add wait, this. Let, me, let me just be clear on this. So what you're saying to me now is that the people that we see, Sadat and all those guys, are not two Egyptians? But no. The, the fact that so then, so that mother was a Sudanese, Nasser's mother was a Sudanese, but their fathers were Arab conquerors. The one that was the African was Mohammed Naguib, the first president of Egypt, the one that overthrew Farouk. But one year after that, since he was looking for a hookup with the other Nile Valley countries as it used to be in antiquity, he was removed by the Arab conquerors. The Arabs didn't come to Egypt until 640. The first non-African people came to Egypt, otherwise called the Hyksos, in 1675 BC. The Africans there were already in the 13th dynasty period. They had built every pyramid you saw there before. They had done the S-turn in the Nile. They built every one of the major temples that had already been built, including the Grand Lodge of Luxor. The first European to come there did not arrive until the Greeks arrived with um, uh, Alexander II, the son of Philip of Macedonia. Look, I'm a college graduate. I never heard all this stuff before. Because they didn't intend to teach you that. They can't tell you that you're inferior and teach you that you taught Egypt and um, um, Europe. The first Europeans to be civilized by the Africans were the Greeks. When you heard of Homer, the first European to have written anything, you couldn't miss that. They said that Homer wrote the Iliad and the Odyssey. And that was not until 833 BC. The Africans had already in 255,000 at the Tassili Mountain, they had the civilian period, first, second, and third, the pre-dynastic period, all the way up. The Africans had produced men like this, in Hotep, the multi-genius that designed the Step Pyramid of Saqqara. The first man to be a physician that even Hippocrates, the so-called father of medicine, is giving him credit and calling him the god of medicine. The Greeks changed his name from Inhotep to Escalapius. There he is. There he is. All right, right here we got Queen T, you feel me? We got King Tut right here. This is how he actually depicted himself, he dark skinned. We got the Med J, aka the Egyptian and Nubian army. Then we got Pharaoh Seti the first, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Then we got a Afar tribe member. And we got the Beja tribe member. <laughs> On your father's side, going way, way back, you have a distant relative, and this is a sort of 73,000 year old relative, uh, with Pharaoh Ramesses III. Oh, really? Hey, <laughs> so I'm cool. like Egyptian. Yeah, so your great grandfather, seventy three thousand years, is also his great grandfather. Oh my day! Okay, there it like goes. meets at that point. So I'm like related to royalty almost. Ooh. In a way. In a way, yeah. 